Today we're going to talk about this weapon, which is called the Shikomi Sui. First, I'm going to introduce the weapon. Second, I'm going to describe how I made this piece. And third, we're going to show some applications using the Shikomi Sui. Shikomi Sui is um, it's basically a sword hidden in king. In reality, the term Shikomi Sui also deals with other weapons hidden in kings, not just swords. It could be chains, hooks, different things inside kings. Um, but in general, people refer to the Shikomi Sui to a sword inside a king. And so generally we're talking about something that is the size of a hanbo, roughly, so like a walking king, right? You know, three feet or so. Um, and so it's a type of mounting that basically tries to conceal a sword inside a walking king. You can see these two things are very similar in, in length. Um, they're generally either rounded, like a humble, right? Or a little bit more oval. Um, this one I made, this one is, is very sort of rectangular just because of the way that I made it. But still, when you look at it, it just looks like a board. Mm. So the idea is that the same as you, the same as you use the, the humble techniques and the strikes, and the Kamai, right? Same thing you would, very similar you would use the Shikomi Sui because it's, it's actually, it works like paint, right? So you would use it in, in the same way, but then you can mm. sword, okay? While you're doing that. So, same type of Kamai, right? You're watching Kamai, you know, way of you can draw a sword, right? Okay, so, that's the Shikomi Sui, right? Um, this, of course, is a wooden one for training, but you can imagine that being a real blade. And again, this could be a blade, uh, but the term is sort of a bit more broad. It could be referring to other, other weapons inside, inside things. And in, in this particular case, um, yes, it could be seen sort of like a walking cane, or it looks more like a board, right? But if you think about sort of ninja way of thinking, if you're walking around, Mm -hmm. Right? Like, like this, it just looks like you're holding. You're just holding some pork, right? Nice. Yeah, right? Just a little bit of sort of hands and jutsu as well, of, of, of disguise. Of, it looks like you're just carrying boards, right? So if you were walking down the street like this, no one would, no one would suspect that you have a weapon there, right? So you have a the sword. Okay? And this type of weapons are not uncommon. Like you can see um, walking games with swords, people use them. Like I know people that have them. Right? So you just have to be aware, as I in the Bujin gun and what we train, I think, um, there's at least two aspects to it or three aspects to it. One is, is knowing the use of the weapon, right? And the history and the techniques of the weapon. Uh, two, it just improves the tightness in general, right? Because you're, you're introducing something else in the, in the movement. And three, which is probably very important, is knowing that this type of weapons exist and they can be used against you. And so just, you're, you're mindful that if you see someone with a walking cane or a cane, it could, it could be more than just a cane. Right? It could be something else. Right? It, could be, it could be something that they, they can use as a sword. Right? Mm. Okay? So you just have to be careful, right? You never know who you're dealing with. <laughs>